you know uh, during translation uh, the uh, ribosome works in a cyclic way that all the changes all the uh, processes take place in cycles so the ribosomes cycle of amino acyl tRNA binding peptide bond formation and translocation continues until one of the stop codon enters the A site. So this process is going on, like any stop codon is on A site, which is the first site in the ribosome, there is a stop, this process is stop. It was initially postulated that this stop codon is It was initially postulated that there would be one or more chain terminating tRNAs that would recognize these codons. However, this is not the case. Instead, stop codons are recognized by the proteins called release factors that activate the hydrolysis of the polypeptide from the peptidyl tRNA. So, this is not specific tRNA, but release factors isko uh, terminate karwayenge there are two classes of release factors class 1 and class 2 class 1 release factors recognize the stop codons and trigger hydrolysis of the peptide chain from the tRNA in the P site you know uh, the uh, polypeptide is attached at the P site of the tRNA so if this polypeptide is released or cut from the P site, it will be released. Prokaryotes have two class 1 release factors called RF1 and RF2. RF1 recognizes the stop codon UAG and RF2 recognizes the stop codon UGA. While the third stop codon which is UAA this is recognized by both the RF1 and RF2. In eukaryotic cells, there is a single uh, class 1 release factor which is called ERF1 that recognize, recognizes all the three stop codons. Class 2 release factors stimulate the dissociation of the class 1 factors from the ribosome after release of the polypeptide chain. So, uh, release, uh, jo, uh, release factor 1 hai, class 1 release factors hai, wo pehle ribosome se bind karenge aur polypeptide ko release karwayenge. Lekin ab inne koon release karwayega? Inko release karwane ke liye class 2 release factors jo hai, wo bind karenge aur wo inne release karayenge. Prokaryotes and eukaryotes have only one class 2 factor called RF3 and ERF3 respectively. So, prokaryotes mein ye RF3 hai aur eukaryotes mein ERF3 hai. Like EFG, IF2 and EFTU, class 2 release factors are regulated by GTP binding and hydrolysis. So, आपको याद होगा ये जो है EFG और EFTU और IF2 ये जो है ये GTP के साथ जो है वो एसोसिएट होते हैं और GTP की हाइड्रोलिसिस यानी कि GDP और GTP में ये जो है यही इनकी बाइंडिंग और रिलीज को कंट्रोल कर रही होती है तो इसी तरह से क्लास 2 रिलीज फैक्टर्स भी GTP हाइड्रोलिसिस पे ही डिपेंडेंट होते हैं how do release factors recognize stop codons? Because release factors are composed entirely of proteins. So, protein RNA interaction must mediate stop codon recognition. Because release factors are proton, uh, proteins and ribosomes are RNA. So, protein RNA interaction is RNA ka interaction hoga, to hi ye recognition jo hai wo ho sakti hai. Experiments in which short coding regions were genetically swapped between RF1 and RF2 because these RF1 and RF2 have different stop codon specificities. Identified, they identified a three amino acid sequence 
that is critical for release factor specificity. Exchange of these three amino acids between RF1 and RF2 swaps the stop codon specificity of two complexes. For this reason, this three amino acid sequence is called a peptide anticodon and must interact with and recognize stop codon. A 3D structure of RF1 bound to the ribosome confirms that RF1 binds to the A site of the ribosome. In this structure, the peptide anticodon is located very near the anticodon but it is likely that there are additional protein regions that contribute to codon recognition. So, kuch additional regions bhi hain jo isme contribute karte hain. A region of class 1 release factors that stimulates polypeptide release has also been identified. All class 1 factors share a conserved 3 amino acid sequence and this three amino acid sequence is glycine, glycine, glutamine and it is essential for polypeptide release. Moreover, the structure of RF1 bound to the ribosome confirms that the GGQ motif is located in close proximity to the peptidyl transferase center. So, जैसे कि राइबोसोम के एक यूनिट में पेप्टाइडल ट्रांसफरेज सेंटर है तो ये जो GGQ मोटिव है इनका रिलीज फैक्टर का RF1 का ये उसके करीब ही कहीं लाए करता है इट रिमेंस अनक्लियर व्हेदर द GGQ मोटिव इज डायरेक्टली इन्वॉल्वड इन द रिलीज ऑफ पॉलीपेप्टाइड फ्रॉम द पेप्टाइडल टीआरएनए और इट इंड्यूसेस अ चेंज in the peptidyl transferase center that allows the center itself to catalyze the hydrolysis of polypeptide chain.